Welcome to Transition University. In this module, we will be covering conservatorship and power of attorney, as well as supports that individuals can put into a place for people with disabilities that need more support. For conservatorship, a person does not have to be incapacitated to appoint a conservator. If the person is unable to manage his or her property effectively, a conservator may be needed. Conservatorship helps to prevent the protected person's property from being harmed. Manage funds for the support of the protected person or the protected person's dependents to ensure physical well-being and appropriate housing. Conservatorship varies from state to state. It can be used alone or with guardianship. You need to go to court to obtain a, a conservatorship. A conservatorship is appropriate when the respondent is unable to manage their property and finances effectively. Conservatorship is a legal status that is an alternative to guardianship. The court appoints a conservator or person to manage the financial and personal affairs of a minor or an incapacitated person. A conservator may also serve as a guardian who is responsible for establishing and monitoring the physical care of the individual and managing their living arrangements. This can be used by someone that wants a little more protection. It is more like long-term financial power of attorney. The person chooses and appoints their conservator and agrees to long-term support with finances and property. It is important to know that conservatorship does not cover any other areas of a person's life, only property and finances. In other states, for example, in California, a family would obtain conservatorship over a youth with a disability. However, in Utah, guardianship is used instead of conservatorship for that same type of service. Conservatorship, again, is only for property and finances. A power of attorney is a different type of support. It is a legal document that allows one person who is the agent to act on behalf of the other person who is the principal. The document itself states what is allowed within the power of the within the power of attorney and what the agent is allowed to do and not do. The power of attorney is another alternative to guardianship. There are two types. There's either durable or springing. A durable is effective on the date it is signed and springing is effective when the person becomes incapacitated or in other words, it springs into action once a certain event occurs. There are different areas where you can include that you can include within your power of attorney. There's statutory, which is property, financial, health care, and education. There's other benefits with a power of attorney. Authority is outlined in the document and the form is very easy to access. And according to the Utah courts, a well-written power of attorney can be helpful. It can be a helpful legal tool to allow someone else to handle a person's financial matters without the need of a more complex arrangement like a trust or a court appointed guardian or conservator, which removes many or all of the person's decision-making authority. A well-written power of attorney can also help protect against possible financial exploitation and abuse. There are, however, limitations to a power of attorney. It is crucial that the individual learn how to protect themselves from possible manipulation from others. The principal must have the capacity to understand what they are signing. If the document is challenged, you might have to go to court to enforce it. The principal can choose anyone to be the agent creating the possibility of being taken advantage of by others. There's also other types of supports. There's healthcare supports, and we'll go over these in more detail. There's also a HIPAA release form, and you could ask your healthcare provider for their form and to sign that. There's also the medical power of attorney versus a healthcare directive. The power of attorney needs to specify the areas where the agent is allowed to make decisions if the youth becomes incapacitated. And this can be all inclusive. This can be an all inclusive tool um, with, a, with a Utah's advanced health care directive. It outlines circumstances where another person can make medical decisions for an individual and includes written instructions on the individual's desires should they be unable to make decisions. If outlined, the directive can also include the HIPAA release. It gives permission for the agent to talk to medical professionals and make decisions about the principal's care. 
a living will can also be included in the directive. We'll go into each of these in the following slides, but we'll cover the financial power of attorney, social security representative payee, ABLE accounts, trusts, and informal supports. And some of these we'll get into more detail and specific trainings. So look at the different modules on the Transition University portion of our website in, in order to do a deep dive on a specific topic. So a financial power of attorney outlines the financial power of attorney um, for that individual, and it defines when it goes into effect. And it can be immediately or under circum certain circumstances. Um, but you can define exactly which type of support the person needs with regards to their finances. For more detailed information on Social Security and Medicaid, please refer to events on our Utah Parent Center website. Our Utah Family Voices Project teaches classes on these specific topics. And there's also detailed information and support in the red section of the Choices booklet. Um, our purpose with this module is just to give you an overview of some of these pu public benefits and how they can be a support um, with regards to guardianship and conservatorship and power of attorney. But the Social, Secu Social Security Administration operates two disability benefits programs. And when you apply for disability benefits your for your child, you need to be aware of the difference between Supplemental Security Income SSI and Social Security Disability Insurance, which is SSDI. And so we'll go into more of these in specific modules that are based on Social Security, but we just wanted to talk about um, Social Security Representative Payee because that is a, as a form of support. So we'll just mention it briefly here. Again, go to our Social Security module for a deep dive. But a social security income, which is SSI representative payee, provides benefit payment management for SSI beneficiaries who are incapable of managing their social security or their social security income payments independently. And it allows a third party to manage the person's income. Generally, friends or family may serve as the representative payee. And when friends or family members are not able to serve as the rep payee, the Social Security Administration will look for qualified organizations to fulfill that role. Um, again, we'll go into Social Security and work arrangements in other modules. So we encourage you to head over to the Social Security module if you would like to do a deep dive on that area of Transition University. We hope this has been beneficial to help you understand conservatorship and power of attorney. And um, remember that there's also supported decision making and our guardianship module that will also give you other ideas for, um, for, for providing support.